What is a vacuum in physics? Imagine a space where there is almost no air or any other matter. This is what physicists mean by a vacuum. The word vacuum comes from the Latin adjective vacuus, which means vacant or void. In physics, a vacuum is essentially a region of space that is devoid of matter. However, achieving a perfect vacuum, where there is absolutely no matter, is impossible in practice. Instead, what we often deal with is a partial or imperfect vacuum. A partial vacuum is an area where the pressure is much lower than atmospheric pressure. For example, the inside of an incandescent light bulb or the space between the glass walls of a thermos are considered vacuums because they have pressures significantly lower than the air pressure outside. In laboratory settings, scientists use vacuum chambers to create environments with very low pressures. These chambers are sealed containers from which air and other gases are removed using vacuum pumps, creating a low pressure environment that is essential for certain experiments and processes like vacuum coating or vacuum drying. There are different types of flow in vacuum technology, such as viscous flow, molecular flow, and Knudsen flow. Viscous flow occurs in rough vacuums where the molecules interact with each other, while molecular flow happens in high and ultra-high vacuums where molecules move freely without interference. Knudsen flow is the transitional range between these two types. In quantum mechanics, the concept of a vacuum is a bit different. Here, a vacuum is the state with the lowest possible energy known as the ground state. This quantum vacuum, or QED vacuum, contains no matter particles and no photons, but it does have vacuum fluctuations where virtual particles appear and disappear. So, in essence, a vacuum in physics is a space with very low pressure and minimal matter, which is crucial for various scientific experiments and technological applications.